In a previous video, we mentioned virtual screens as a type of display client that can be made up of other display clients and laid out as desired. But there's a lot more to explain about why they are truly so powerful for visualization. Virtual screens was first introduced as part of Thin Manager in version 9. Since then, it has been fine-tuned and simplified for ease of use and increased productivity, not only for the administrator creating the display clients, but also the end user that might be using or viewing them daily. Virtual screens is essentially a way to put together a dashboard style display client for visualization comprised of any display clients in your configuration. Let's take a look and walk through setting this up. Inside of Thin Manager, navigate to the left side tree pane and click on Display Clients. Under Display Clients, find Virtual Screen. Right click and select Add Display Client. This will bring up the Display Client Wizard as you would expect. Start by giving a name to your new display client. I'm going to call mine Screen Test. The type of display client is automatically set to virtual screen. You can set up groups within virtual screens as you might need. You can also adjust the permissions to affect what groups can see and use the virtual screens you're creating. I'm going to leave mine as unrestricted. Click Next. The next screen shows client options. By default, the new display client can be tiled and moved as needed. The last option will not present this display client until a user has been authenticated to the terminal. I'm going to leave that unchecked and once again click Next. The next screen is for determining the layout of your virtual screen. This is really where the magic of virtual screens becomes clear. The layout of your virtual screen can be completely custom made by you depending on your individual needs, screen resolution, and display clients. If creating a custom screen, you simply click the Add button Start creating your layout by mathematically inputting the desired resolutions for each section or virtual screen and aligning them as you desire using the width, height, left, and top pixel dimensions. To greatly simplify this process, we also offer many pre-configured layouts to make this much faster and user-friendly. Under the Choose Layout menu, you can see many options to choose from, including standard grids, to more complex layouts like three thumbnail right side. Once selected, you can see below the graphical representation of your layout. Now we can click next once again to start defining our screens. You can see that you can give each section or screen a name that better represents that section. You can also see that the wizard shows in gray exactly what screen you're configuring. By clicking the Add button, you can choose the display client you wish to appear in that screen. For this main area, I'm going to choose a desktop display client. By clicking Screen Options, I am presented with several options that can be set for this particular screen. I want to set up a virtual screen that swaps my display clients into the larger main window area so I can see better and uh, interact with it a little easier. Therefore, I'm going to check the boxes to allow to move and tile and click OK. I can select Next to move to the next screen in my configuration. Once again, the upper right area shows the graphical representation of which screen we have selected for configuration. I'm going to again choose a display client and then select Screen Options. I will again allow movement and tiling but I'm also going to select the mouse button mapping checkbox and click the mouse button mapping button. For my left mouse button, I'm going to select swap and click OK. Under the swap options, I will choose to swap to the virtual screen one window area, then click OK. I'm simply going to go through my other sections and follow the same steps. Once I have set my options, and chosen the display clients for each screen, I click Finish to complete my new virtual screen display client and save my configuration. Now I need to assign my display client to a terminal. I'm going to choose one of my terminals and navigate to the display clients. I will remove what is there and select my new display client we called Screen Test and then click Finish. I'll restart my terminal for the changes to take effect.
Now that my terminal is restarted, we can shadow it to see the new virtual screen display on that terminal. I can click any of the display clients to swap them to the main window and interact with them as needed. As one swaps, the previous screen swaps with the one last clicked. Thin Manager Virtual Screens is an amazingly easy way to increase your visualization and insight into your industrial or production environment and is simple to set up in just a matter of minutes.